We're making banana pudding, but not just any banana pudding. We're making the real deal, ultimate banana pudding. It's going to be great. So we got some eggs separated. We've got eight eggs. They're separated right now, right? And we're not going to use the whites for this recipe. Um, some recipes call for like a whipped meringue topping. I like whipped cream on top of mine. So we're going to save these for something else. Okay, so we got eight yolks here in a bowl. We've also got a pot here that we're going to turn on to sort of like a medium, medium low temperature uh, because we want to start to warm a quart of milk. Okay, so the milk and the yolks and also a little bit of cornstarch, we're going to put together the base for the banana pudding, uh, which is sort of a homemade pastry cream. It's really delicious and really easy. Okay, so we got our milk here, right? So the milk is going to go into our pot. And we want to bring this up to temperature. We don't want to boil it. We just want to scald it. We want to bring it up to a temperature where it's starting to steam. And then we're going to temper that into the yolks a little later. All right, so you got about a quart. All right, looking good, about half of this. I'm just going to let that come up to a simmer. All right, now we, uh, with our yolks, we're going to go ahead and start to flavor this stuff. Now, when we're making a uh, banana pudding, um, it needs to taste like banana. You can use uh, banana extract if you like. I prefer creme de banana. It's a banana liqueur. I think it tastes absolutely delicious. So we're going to add a little bit of creme de banana to our yolks. And just give a little splash around top. It's very strong, so a little goes a long way. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of bourbon. This is the ultimate banana pudding after all. And I like that sort of that sweet corn mash flavor. I think it's going to be really good. It's also very southern. It's going to taste delicious. A little splash of bourbon right on top. All right. And then we're going to add some sugar to this. So I've got two cups of just regular white granulated sugar. I'm just going to eyeball this. All right. All right, so you got one cup. All right, two cups. All right, perfect, looking good. Now we're going to take this, I'm just going to whip this together. All right, going to give this a little stir. And this is going to be the color and also the richness of our pastry cream. And now we're going to need to tighten this up uh, with some cornstarch. And that's going to give it that sort of, um, that sort of glistening, sort of a, a silkier texture where flour can be a little, a little thick. You know, sometimes you taste that. The cornstarch has a tendency to just disappear where you really kind of focus on the flavor of the banana. So we've got a half a cup of cornstarch in here. All right, so we're making a big, big pan of banana pudding, so we want quite a bit. So it's one fourth of a cup and another fourth of a cup, which makes a half. All right, bang. So we've got our warm milk here. We're just gonna splash in about a cup of this. If we add all of it, it will definitely scramble the eggs. And then we're gonna fold this mixture straight back into our milk here. Okay, so once it starts to thicken, all right, it's gonna cook up pretty quick. So you wanna turn the temperature off and just let the whole thing really start to come together on its own. We're gonna add a few more things to this, a little pinch of salt, some really good pure vanilla extract. And then last but not least, two tablespoons of whole butter. Isn't that great? I slowly give this a stir to incorporate everything, and we are good to go. Now, we definitely want to chill this down. Um, we're going to fold some sliced bananas into this a little later. Um, you don't want to put them in right now because the bananas will turn black in two seconds flat. So I've got a big bowl here. This is great. This is definitely one of those recipes where somebody's going to want to lick the bowl. All right? Check this out. You're going to love this. Pastry cream. Look at that. Boom. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, so guys, we're going to let this cool down just a little bit. And then a little later, we're going to pour it over top of some vanilla wafers and then top it off with some whipped cream, some shaved chocolate. It's going to be off the chart. So we got some plastic wrap. We're just going to put it right on top so it doesn't form a skin. Look at that. All right, pastry cream finished. All right, now we're going to put this whole thing together. So we left the pastry cream right, on the counter to let it cool down. I've got some bananas back here, and when you're shopping for bananas for a banana pudding, you want to make sure they're bright yellow. So when you chop them up, they stay nice and white. It's good for the presentation. So we got that. We also got some vanilla wafers that we're going to soak with a little bit of creme of the banana. You know what I'm talking about? We're going to set all of this up, and then we're going to top it off with some whipped cream, and it's going to be delicious. It's my ultimate banana pudding. All right, looking good, looking good. We're talking about nice stiff peaks. Isn't that great? 
Look at that. What? From one into the other, back and forth. Look at that. Banana pudding, baby. All right, I'm gonna take a paper towel to clean up the edges a little bit, all right? So it looks really great. Throw this in the fridge, let it get nice and cold, and then I serve this on the table, family style. Nice big sack of bowls, spoons, a big serving spoon, and you are good to go. Boom. Banana pudding. Creamy, rich. We made the pastry cream. Yolks, sugar, milk, corn, starch, whipped it together, lots of fresh banana. And here's the kicker, guys. Take a look at this. Semi sweet chocolate. Got some vanilla wafers around right the very bottom, all right? And they're flavored with a little bit of creme de banana. All right, lots of chocolate, lots of whipped cream. And that is absolutely delicious. All right, I'm ready to scoop out a gigantic portion for myself. Take a look at this. Are you ready? Gonna get a drum roll, a big scoop around the bottom. Now, you wanna make sure you get everything a little bit of vanilla wafer. Look at that. Some banana pudding, lots of whipped cream. Now that is what I'm talking about. Perfect. 